Good afternoon. It's Thursday, September 15, 2011. I'm Jamie Chadwick with your Erner Berry Market Report, sponsored today by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. Today, FoodMarket.com is reporting that a turkey industry representative told a House Agricultural Subcommittee that the federally mandated use of ethanol has created an immediate and legitimate concern about the availability and cost of feed ingredients for poultry and livestock. For more on this story and other news from the center of the plate, head to FoodMarket.com. Now, let's check out the markets. For this week's eggs processed under federal inspection, here's Erner Berry's Terrence Wells. Eggs processed under federal inspection totaled 1,328,136 cases for the week ending September 10th. The number of cases broken is down 4% from last week's figure and down 7% from the same week last year. The cumulative total year to date remains up 2%. 756,662 cases were broken in line this week, representing 57% of the total break. Shell egg prices have declined over 20% following August highs, but have stabilized this week. The decrease in breaking may be a result of last week's shortened schedule due to the long holiday weekend. We expect cases broken to be back up in the next report with machines running for a full week. I'm Terrence Wells with your eggs processed under federal inspection report. Now back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Terrence. Talking turkey, here are a few signs of seasonable market adjustment beginning to surface during our canvas. Fresh MST is available at discount while frozen stocks have yet to build in any significant manner. Fresh parts are being shown here and there. At this juncture, we have not recorded any notable price pressure, but we are awaiting additional feedback. Breast meat is very well situated at full market levels, or better if product offerings surface. A similar scenario is in place for de-strap tenders. Sources involved with thighs speak about conditions that are least steady and showing signs of a seasonable uptick. Whole birds continue to fare well moving forward towards the holidays. Now here's Kristen Pagnani with an inside look at Erner Berry's poultry report. The overall position of the complex is a less than stable one, with demand being less than active and most items adequate for spot needs. The latest hatch report shows a 9% and a 6% decline in egg set and chicks placed respectively. Our chart shows the recent high prices attached to corn and soybean meal, two of the more prominent grains used for feed. The price of these items has been elevated for the entirety of 2011 as compared to the year prior. This price has translated into a very difficult situation for most involved with producing chicken. In most other times, the current values of Ernerberry's chicken quotations would be welcomed with open arms, but as of today, input costs are spoiling any chance of strength in the market. I'm Kristen Pagnani with your Poultry Report. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Kristen. Moving over to red meats, the box beef market and cuts continue to receive support at current levels, and prices have improved yet again this morning. Demand of choice ribs and tenderloins is picking up in seasonable fashion, and prices are beginning to reflect the increased competition. Top butt and short loin markets are weaker in general and continue to put pressure on the loin complex. In the boneless beef market, undertones throughout the market are generally steady to slightly weaker. Movement has been limited up to this point. Sentiments for the imported beef complex are steady to lower. Prices continue to drift lower as buying interest is limited. Discounts have been noted on several of the leaner items. In the pork market, live hog demand at direct markets is anticipated to show strength again today as margins remain enticing and slaughter schedules continue to be filled into next week. Top prices at the terminal markets are expected mostly steady to slightly firmer. Processing pork products are anticipated mostly steady to slightly weaker, with the weaker of undertones primarily centered on bellies and trim based on an abundance of supply. In the retail complex, loins are considered steady to slightly weaker, while butts and spare ribs are expected mostly steady. Trade across most items remains unsettled as we near the end of the week. That wraps up Erner Berry's Market Report, brought to you today by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at ePoultry.com.